right, guys, we have a Homeschool Hustler sale. This is Homeschool Hustler Turner. Let's go get it. It's Crush. And he talks. Hello, babies. Well, they start out as eggs. We leave them on the beach to hatch. And then kick, kick, and chew. They find their way back to the big old blue. Sounds like, it sounds like Mikey from Insurals. It sold for $19. Plus shipping. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the cabin. It's I'm looking out, I see a bunch of snow, so it's a snow day. So I've had a little bit of a different day today, which got me thinking about something that I'm gonna talk about tomorrow. And that's basically what do I what would I do if I was a full time reseller? How would my schedule change? Because I do things totally different on days that I'm home all day as opposed to days where I wake up at five forty five and go to work, you know, and get home at three thirty every day. So, at any rate, we're going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow. And I'd love to have the input of some of you full time quote unquote pickers, full time resellers out there in tomorrow's comments, but. Today we have a few cool sales, a few things we've been selling a lot lately, making decent money, a couple of odd items that I make a little bit of money on that I feel like I'm like one of the only people who sells in the world, <laughs> which might tell me I probably shouldn't sell it. But at any rate, I'm pretty happy with those sales and with the good bolo type sales as well. And I had somebody not pay for, I had a viewer not pay for an auction item. And it sounds really bad, like I'm trying to trash that person. I absolutely am not, and you'll see why in just a minute. But it was an interesting thing, and I'm glad they didn't pay because I relisted that auction item and ended up getting more money than I would have if they would have paid. So thank you. Let's take a look. First thing right here in... Do you hear that wind? There's still a lot of snow and ice on the roof here, so the wind probably blow it off. It'll make a crazy noise. <laughs> anyway, right, here you go. Titleist. We got some Titleist gloves right here. Callaway as well. All, all right, and this is always interesting, right? Right-handed golfers wear left-handed golf gloves. So what do you put them in as? Do you put them as left-handed golf gloves? Do you put them as right-handed golf gloves? <laughs> because, you know, a right-handed baseball glove is worn on your left hand, but it's for a right-hander, and you call it a right-handed glove. But golf is different left-handed glove so am i making sense you're probably like what is this guy talking about i'm a right-handed baseball player my gloves on my left hand i'm a right-handed golfer gloves on my left hand but this glove's called left-handed and that glove's called right-handed who knows at any rate this came from the lost and found i kept some for myself i kept one out for my dad i kept one out for my uncle which he'll probably not use because he's picky put the rest together in a lot they're used some aren't even in great shape, but they're all left-handed. They're not even the same size. Usually, if there's enough, I try and divvy them up into different sizes, which is why this didn't go for all that much. But it went for $10 plus shipping. I just couldn't throw them away. So, I don't know. We'll make like eight and a quarter, eight fifty on them. That brings us to $534 so far on that sale. Comcast remote. Xfinity Comcast. I remember where I got this one. I got it recently. You know what? I know exactly what happened. This came from my mom. My dad, I, don't, I haven't said this yet, but I'll say it right now. They're moving out from Arizona. They're moving out here to, uh, to us here in Virginia. You know, when she keeps giving me merchandise I can sell, you know, how can you turn that down? Sold for $6.50 plus shipping and it was free to me. Thanks, mom. All right, I mentioned something the other day. I mentioned that there's a few items in the kids' store that I should have listed in my store and vice versa. Sometimes it's difficult when I'm on my phone or when my wife's listing. I forget what store I was last in, and then it automatically logs in, and then I hit list an item, and then when I get to the end, I'm like, I just put that in my kids' store. <laughs> At any rate, these could go either way, but they're a nice little sale, and I didn't even know we still had them. My wife pulled them out of somewhere, she pulls out of different death piles than I pull out of, I think, when I list. It's funny because I want her to list some of the things that are kind of hard to list, and she wants me to list some of those things. But we are in agreement that most clothes she lists because I really don't like doing that. All right, here we go, though. And I think 
I probably should have checked to see which one sold. It's a lot of three of these. I might have to look, but I, well, there you go. She put it in a little baggie there, or something. I don't know what that is. And there should be three of them, so, is that right? One, two, three? Yeah, let's look. Wanna look? Nope, they're stuck in there tight. I'm not pulling them out. Three little golden books, $9 plus shipping. I probably would have just put these in the booth, but she was uh, smart enough, I guess, because I'd have probably put them in for a dollar a piece in the booth. Actually, I'm not even sure I'd have done that. I might have put them in there for 50 cents in the booth. So she definitely got more money selling them for $9 plus shipping on eBay. Okay, next one's got a little bit of a story to it. And I don't want to sound like I'm upset because I'm not at all. So, and I don't even want to mention the person's name. They sent me a really nice message. They had bid on this auction and they won it. And there's something that happened in their life from the first bid that they made to when they won it. And they're still going to pay for it, whatever. And then they just decided, look, it's probably best if I didn't buy these things. And they were very apologetic. So I have no complaints whatsoever. Matter of fact, we wish you the best. And we hope some of these things that you talked about in your message were getting resolved. But I think this thing sold for around 50 bucks. And now this thing sold for, I think, 71 or $2 plus shipping. And if you remember me going over to Richard's place, the storage guy, I'll put that video up here. We got two of these books full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I know there's a couple in here that are really good. The Blue Dragon something or other, I can't remember. You know, the condition of them, there it is right there. I think that's the one. I think that is pretty good. You know, the condition isn't amazing, but certainly good enough. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna auction it off. I could go through and look up every single one and holy moly, what a job and find the good ones and all that. But I'd rather sell it at a at a pretty steep discount, I suppose, depending on what's in here, and get a bunch of money out of it. This was a consignment. We bought a bunch of stuff from him, if you remember, and we made a bunch of money on it. And he made a little bit of money. The whole deal wasn't consignment. This was consignment. The other auction that we have up right now, and by the way, I have a video, if, you, if you're interested in these, I have a video on the listing. I think I do. I, I did for this one. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did for this one as well. And so this one has a few less cards, but they're different. And it has that exact same dragon card as well. So at any rate, that one is up now. And so we decided that we would do a consignment on these. 50-50 split on this one. 50-50 split on this one. And then a 50-50 split on that walking stick that was over there, if you remember that. The rest, I just bought and have sold most of it and have done pretty good. So, Richard, you should see the money that I sent you uh, on PayPal. I sent it as soon as that stuff sold. So, thank you. Matter of fact, I want to mention something really quick. I'm letting the cat out of the bag here. I didn't want to mention this for a while. But Richard has so much stuff over there. I could go and pick that place every day forever and find something to sell. And he had some of the folks who watch this show come over there and, and look through a few things. But he has so much coming in and he needs new outlets. He can't keep up with selling this stuff traditionally on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. He's buying so much. So we decided, like, we're going to roll the dice here and do something. I'm going to start a new channel. Matter of fact, I already have. I don't think it's searchable yet because there's no content or anything. And we're going to auction off his stuff. <laughs> we're going to do an auction channel for a while until at least he can move around in there and function. And we're like, hey, this will be fun. And uh, maybe some of you can get involved in it. So I'm going to link that, I hope, if I can remember, below in here. Don't expect anything for a while. We're nowhere near getting to the point where we can help him get rid of that stuff. And maybe help some of y'all too. But I'll link it below and maybe you can be ready and waiting when we do that somewhere down the road. Which might be this summer, who knows. But at least it'll be there at some point. Next one is the English Beat. English Beat. If I can find it without... There it is right there. If I can... I don't want to mess those up too bad. Is this it? There might be two, but I think this is the one. No, you know what? This is the beat. That's not it. Let's see here. I know it's here somewhere. There it is. There it is. I toyed with keeping it, but I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't really match the decor in here. But I got a few frames. I want to put a few more. I just like looking at this stuff. It's awesome. So, But I decided not to because it's pink. Matter of fact, there's another plate, and I ended up putting it over here. The Hang Loose Hawaii plate. I loved it. 
and Reagan's like, you need to put that right up here in the middle. I'm like, I don't know. I think pink will look a little good. And she said, look, you've got this came from Jackass Retro, by the way. So you got this thing here. You can put the Hawaii plate. So I might move that Hawaii plate that viewer sent us. That thing is cool. She loves it. So who knows? We might put it somewhere else. All right. This one sold for $19 plus shipping on that one. And I think I'm pretty sure that one came from that sale that we did over there wandering around that church sale with my uncle all right next item came from an unexpected estate sale i was literally going to fedex and i saw a little sign up there i'm like huh and i pulled over i had no camera or anything i ended up filming a little bit with my phone and i ended up finding this in a bunch of revere wear all right here it is right here i might not be able to yeah i think i can get it off all right, this is vintage aluminum, uh, hammered aluminum, the club. It's a roaster. I think it's 15 inches. And these sell pretty good. Matter of fact, I would have been able to probably get 30 bucks for this fairly quickly. But I think we got 20 because you'll see the damage up here. And I didn't go through the trouble of really making sure it's perfectly clean. It's pretty clean. But I didn't go through all that to get the extra money. And I didn't do that because of this. But I'll let you, most of you know this brand out there as well. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the uh, club. So, at any rate, it's got the little clover on there. These sell pretty good. And I'm happy I was able to pick that one up. I think I paid 40 bucks for everything at that sale. And that sold for 20 plus shipping. This set of books over here, I think I have listed for 60 And we picked up a whole box full of Revere wear as well. Hey, Turner had another homeschool hustler store sale. That store's been going crazy lately, buddy. Who's that? Fiery Flynn. Fiery Flynn. That's Thomas the Train. And you know, I believe your mama bought this. Your mama bought this years ago. And we've been Facebook Marketplace deal. And we kept it, played with it for a while. Not just this one, just a whole tub full of stuff. I know. I used to play with them all the time. <laughs> and then we sold them all off. And we made a bunch of money on that deal. Plus, you got a cool toy. A bunch? Really? Yeah. A bunch? <laughs> all right so this one right here too was you know you know how much we paid for this buddy um, 90, 20 miles per hour dude i guess all turtles talk like that not just the ninja turtles yeah I, I said i said in the video that he sounds like the ninja turtles oh did you yeah. okay well Mikey. i wasn't in here did you I do the video? i still haven't seen that video y'all turner comes in and does his own video now don't you buddy mm -hmm. all right and that okay. one we bought blue ridge mama bought that at that sale right here that sale you want to see the previews for the videos coming up there you go but we bought that one right there i don't see it there there's lady but blue ridge mama bought that and we sold it for how much did we sell this for bud do you remember uh, $19 Did you tell him? Shipping? In the video you told him? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't, I you don't need me anymore, do you? I even forgot how you much it was. You're going to fire me. <laughs> we paid 50 cents for it. So that's awesome. Thank you, bud. Oh, wait. Did we tell him? $15 plus shipping oh, on that. Oh, yeah. And, okay. uh, it, it presses yeah. something. Okay. All right. That's enough money to do what? Save dollars, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Bye. Isn't it crazy how you have something in your store forever, just forever, and it just doesn't sell? And then you sell one, and then bang, bang, you, start, you just start selling them. I, what happens when you do that, when you have those multi-quantity listings, when yours becomes one of the best options price-wise, which occasionally happens, especially with new old stock stuff, because there's only so much of it out there, a lot of times what will happen is people will be watching it and then one sells and it says hey this is running out and they'll send out alerts and then you get another sale that's what happened here creative memories 15 dollars uh, free shipping i think on this one so this will make us mm, right around 10 bucks i think and that one was from the happy little accident a long time ago and a lot of you went over there and watched that so it just shows me how, how many of you have been around since the happy little accident how many of you came from thrifting 101 that was the first shout out this channel ever got and it was really kind of michelle over there and we hope you're doing well if y'all watch thrifting 101 um i know some of you watch both tell her i said hello all right here we go ten dollars right there profit on that one brings us to two thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars from that one sale all right we'll head back out there and i think we've i don't know what we've done with turner if you've seen it already or not but i know reagan's got to say thank you to one or two people and i think blue ridge mama has a sale 
So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Hey y'all, Blue Ridge Mama here. Just wanted to tell you about a quick sale I made on Macari. Um, I started listing some kids stuff again on there. Um, cross listing on eBay and Macari just because Macari is pretty fast to list on and I tend to get a lot of um, likes and looks when I'm doing kids stuff on there. So I'm going through some old stuff that Reagan has outgrown for gymnastics and there's two leotards here. So these sold for $18 free ship. So I um, am going to ship those through Pirate Ship and stick them in the mailbox. I want to show you something really quick and this is something I mentioned before and some people are like oh well thanks for showing me that well <laughs> I, I thought it was fairly obvious but I'm going to show it to you because you just never know the shortcuts you can get and save some money so this one right here 11.9 11 11.8 11 ounces it was 12.3 ounces and look at the difference between 12.3 and 11.8 let's go to California five dollars and 98 cents versus four dollars and 68 cents $1.30 in savings just to take that much cardboard off. So these are the inner flaps right here. Cut these off right here, and then you have the inner flaps. Well, I just cut off about two-thirds of each inner flap on both sides, and it saved me $1.30. Let me know your shipping tricks out there. Hey, before I forget, I wanted to see out there if there's anybody who's used the eBay standard envelope yet. The first time you do that, send me a message. Uh, leave a comment below in the video or something. Let me know how it goes. I'm just curious as to how it works, and I imagine, I don't, I don't know exactly how it is going to work because it's in an envelope, how's the sticker work, all that stuff. I'm just curious, I could look it up, but if you tell me, it'd be a lot easier. So eBay standard envelope for the sports cards. Let me know if you've done that. A couple of sales here out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store, Reagan. What did you sell? Two Animogs, a We Get Things Moving shirt, and two stickers. All right, and, and you remember, let's see, I can't remember the names, do you? Wayne. Wayne got the, oh yeah, that's right, Wayne, this is the Tar Heel Picker, and he said he had to get one of these before they're all gone, and you know what? These were the last two that we had for mm -hmm. sale. I think we have one yeah. left right here. I don't know what we'll do with it. We have the blue Misfit ones and three, I think six total blue Misfits, but and I kind of wanted to keep, keep these for something special. Those. I don't know what yet, but I always like to keep those. Plus, we have that one over there. So, they're they're not listed anymore. By the way, Reagan, the t-shirts, we've decided, I think, we're not going to renew these, too. Some of the sizes yeah. are getting low. Not this one. But I think there's a couple down to three. So, anyway, there you go. Yeah. I'll shut up. And I think you Mike tell me. got this one. Mike got that one. Yeah, I'm you pretty sure. It. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you remembered, because <laughs> I sure didn't. All right, we're going to package them up. And Oh, you know what? You told me. We got it. Come over here. All right, so me and Reagan were talking. Oh, yeah. What to do with the Misfits. So what we decided to do with the Misfits, there are six Misfit Blues. I think we already auctioned one off, so there's seven yeah. total. And our guy said he'd give us a refund for them, and I'm like, you know what? I don't know what it is about resellers, Reagan, but we're all kind of Misfits. I think that's why we're all resellers. <laughs> and I was like, no, somebody's going to buy these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to auction the Misfits off. Maybe we'll have you yeah. sign the Misfit or something. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put the Inaman in there since we don't have very many left. I think 30 some more that we're going to sell. 31 or two at this point. Two we're going to throw in a couple of stickers and a couple of little stickers. And we're going to auction them off and we'll do yep. six different auctions, I guess. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay, and we'll do them maybe one a week or something for the next few weeks over there on eBay. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, thanks, Ray. Bye, and don't forget to get your <laughs> stickers at CommonwealthFigure.com. Hey, y'all, just wanted to mention a couple of very kind little gifts, messages. This is Santa Cruz right there. Monterey Bay Lighthouse. Awesome. That is some amazingly gorgeous country up there for sure. Hi, Kevin and family. Thanks for all you do. I love watching your videos. You keep so many entertained during these crazy times. Best wishes and God bless Jason from Reading, Pennsylvania. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Appreciate it. And we'll put this back there on that uh, bulletin board. All right. And we had one sent to us from Angus. Love that name, by the way. Thank you so much for all your wonderful videos. They have been both an inspiration and an incredible source of information for me on my reselling journey. What you have done has touched so many lives, and I am grateful. Well, thank you. That's very... Very kind of you. Please find the enclosed Ontario plates, and they are. We're going to love this. So there's a, f a few Ontario plates there. And I don't think, do we have, I don't think we have an Ontario plate. Newfoundland there. 
I don't think we do. Saskatchewan, of course. So, and I can't remember your name who sent us this, but that was really kind of you and you left a great note. But Ontario looks like it'll find a home there for sure. All right, well, thank you very much. Here we go. Double Duncan Treasures. I think that's the eBay store, yeah? I got that right there? Awesome. We'll put that back there on that bulletin board as well. A couple of postcards, the Sky Dome, Toronto, and a great history book here. And I've already read the back, and let me tell you, this is some heavy reading. And I am very interested to, we just actually got out of a, well, I'm not going to bore you with history, but a DBQ for AP World History about the Mongols. And how the Mongols were basically the only culture, well, they're not the only, but they're the most extensive culture that actually assimilates into the cultures that they conquer. They're chameleons. And so this is a part of the world right here in Pakistan. See, Aga Khan right there. Just, they become Muslim. On uh, some places, they become Buddhist. They become the people they conquered, which is interesting. And so I am definitely interested to look. I taught a, uh, two students whose family comes from northern Pakistan as well. So I am definitely interested to look at that one. So thank you so much.